Greetings once again, people, and welcome to yet another episode of Well Electric Sheep, because we're checking out the thir uh, third part of this um, little trilogy of levels, and yeah, that's basically about it. There's no real documentation for this level in particular, nothing really fancy, just load it up and go. Um, the first part was a relatively uh, um, middle size affair, but at the same time had a lot of roughness to it. The second part, on the other hand, was basically a one-room map that kind of felt rather lackluster after the first part. And now we're here with the third part, which I have no idea what God's name I'm in for. So I guess we'll load it up, see how much of a nightmare this is. I can imagine it's being rather rough because being the third part of an episode, it's intended for you to have a lot more ammo than what we're going to have. Um, last episode at the very end, it gave us a super nail gun. And well, I don't really have the super nail gun because I'm going to start... Right where the shotgun starts. So needless to say, I'm not sure how well we're going to do on this one. This might actually be rather painful. But that's exactly part of the fun. Um, being a masochist, going in there and enduring a lot of pain. So let's load this thing up. Just make sure skill is three first. Um, really, it always should be three. But just have to make sure. Um, what, what is it? Elk. Sheep. Three. There we are. That, that's the name. Amazing. Wait, no, it's not. M maybe I forgot to... Oh, you know what? I think I need to transfer over the file. Yeah, I didn't even think about doing that. I just thought they were automatically in my directory because I figured I had transferred all over. But no, I had intentionally made it so I couldn't get to the next level. So that way we couldn't have anything like that and see anything in advance. So, as you see, I didn't even have it prepared. I didn't even load it up yet. So, needless to say... This is completely new, as was the other parts when I did them. But that's aside the point. Let's load this one up and see what exactly we're in for. Elk Sheep 3. There we are. Okay, for a minute I thought my sound was off, but I can hear a death knight growling somewhere in this world. There's a death knight some growling somewhere in this random world. I find myself in a really tiny tunnel. The There's a lack of ambient sound effects, and I'm seeing some... Entity straight ahead. I think it's maybe armor. It's hard to tell in this pitch blackness. Anyway, behind me is a gray wall. Oh god! I'm not sure I like that. Okay, I, I really don't like this. Remember when we were asking about the fiends? Well, here's a fiend. So, uh, yeah. Let's just be careful, kill him, and, um, well, it looks like that's a way forward, maybe. I don't even know. Um, there's no secrets in this level, apparently. That's interesting so yeah i guess we've gone through all the other levels with the secrets and now this is just straightforward action as we try not to die so yeah we're not going to have the freedom of having some secrets save our lives this time um in a way thank goodness because the secrets of this has been rather terrible all i want to do is check around here make sure there's nothing uh, the ordinary i don't think there's going to be and we have 11 shells to our name so this should be fun Okay, there we are, we caused a little bit of fighting. A guard? There's weird trigger noises going everywhere, people. That is eerie. I don't like the sound of that at all. It's still going. The noises are still going, people. I don't know what's going on here, why the trigger noises are keep continually spamming. Uh at this point, I'm just trying to live. That's that's my operation this time around. That's that's my whole mo motif, if you will, to live. Uh, and yeah, when it's starting you off with a um, fiend, that's not a good sign. Let's get to some of these shells. There we are. Now I actually have a decent amount of shells. Watch this now. They're gonna throw a bunch of shamblers at me or something. Um, I may mean, have killed three enemies, so that means we have about 20 more to go. In that period of time, I have no idea what God's name I have, and we have a pit of lava below me. So I'm imagine when I press these, it's gonna like try and like drop me into lava or something. Wait, one more to go. Oh god! I'm gonna get out of this corner. Yeah, there, there was a tight little corner. Listen, don't do that, people. Don't get stuck. 
Okay, let's try and move around here. The goal is to not die. Okay, so you killed the fiend, you jumped in here. Owie! I'm not getting good luck with hitting this ogre, so let's just do it this way. This is definitely not a real pretty area for fighting the ogre. But there we are! We made it out of that mess alive. Now we just need to not die in the meantime. I said we press one of these buttons, one to go. Okay, it seems like the other one causes the stuff to happen. Quick to the rocket launcher! Okay, is there health here? No? Okay, we have to react quickly and just hope for the best because I have six health to my. Seven health to my name, people. Um, but at least I'm still alive somehow. I don't know how in God's name I am, but the moment I get to react with that. I don't want to mess with that death knight at the moment. I just want to live. Oh God, there's a, there's a death knight above me. At the moment, the death knight be above me is my biggest problem. He's going to kill me. I don't like him being up there. He's really annoying me, people. Wait! Get distracted by the two. Okay, so let's see. Let's try this again. We can do this. Oh god, that did not work out in my favor. Managed to bounce off it. That inopportune time. Okay, I guess he's not getting hostile to this ogre. Not the best of situations. Let's rush towards him. This is a new idea. Let's whack the fiend before he's able to leap towards me. I mean. We can't drop down or fall down, so it's actually pretty good. We just do that, get down here, and now we are pretty good. Now we just want to make sure we don't die in the meantime. Now we just need to kill this ogre without, of course, dying in the process. Okay, so far so good. Staying alive, staying alive. Okay, so if we press this button, it's going to cause um, the Death Knight to appear, which could be a problem, of course. But at the same time, we need to kill a Death Knight. Okay, let's get back. We need to get around this guy. Okay, I'm not doing too well because I'm not figuring out where to move to evade him. But at least it seemed to work somewhat. I'm not dead yet. I really need health. That's what I need, people. Okay, we'll have a nice little infight session here. Oh, God! I picked up the freaking rocket launcher. Of course I did. Okay, lesson learned. Don't try and hit that ogre. Okay, that didn't really work well either for me. You know what, this, really, my issue is not ammo. My issue is health. Yeah, my issue is health, people. So what I need to do is, first of all, this one is a good one to face off like this because it controls his jumps. And you want to control his jumps so he doesn't do his lethal fling towards himself towards you so that we can easily kill you and all that. Yeah, that's the official move. That's the official name of it. Let's see. Let's drop down here. Hope for the best. But 
No, it's not die in this little crazy pit of death. Yeah, this is horrible. Okay, yeah, the ogre moved over and so world became pain. Okay, just want to keep whacking him. On guard! On guard! Little tight tunnel that reminds me of aliens or something. Let's see here. We got to drop down here and, of course, pray to a higher god. This area is so tight. So you see, it doesn't really work out well for me. Quickly this way, let's trip around. Okay, now we just dodge him. Where is he? Where is he? Okay, one down. So you see, it's really how you deal with them, but of course, not good to deal with stuff. Oh god! You know, we need to be very careful here. And there we are. So quickly, we want to grab this rocket launcher and not die in the meantime. Frickin' here! Oh god, this did not work too well! Okay, let's snipe out these enforcers from here. Just so I thought they couldn't see me. The moment I'm trying to live. That's the whole idea of this. I'm trying to live. Okay, but we're still alive, surprisingly, after all that. Now we just need to continue on. Now, what do these devices do? Do they do anything or are they just kind of here for decoration? I think they're just here for decoration, people. Oh god, please don't tell me I'm stuck. I think I'm stuck, people. Okay, listen, do not drop over on this side. You get stuck. That stinks. Okay, let's redo this. <laughs> Of course I get bloody stuck. That is the worst type of way to fail. When you're not failing because you died or something, but when you fail because you got stuck in a random area. Now if we could just kill this ogre. Okay, okay. So far so good. This is going to get worse, though, by a second. Okay, get ready to strafe. I get stuck on something. Okay, so there we are. We've got more and more area done. And there we are. Nice little infant in session. Wait, that knights. Okay, we're not really making much progress here. There we are. There we get some more craziness going on. And there we are. One more situation, done. Now I do want to conserve my rockets if I can. And here's mostly just a matter of pot shot on these guys. Of course they are being annoying with trying to hit them. Yeah, the angle is... Let's do that, so we can get a little bit more of a breather. Let's 
It's so hard to hit him. He's like in a weird, awkward place. There we are. Now we'll just punch at him from this corner. And there we are. Thank goodness, because there's no health in this level as far as I'm seeing, so we need to not die. So we get to this little area again. Luckily, I stay inside this little room. It's a lot harder for them to hit me than it is for me to hit them. Okay, just want to kill that enforcer. There we are. Now, the lesson is, don't fall in that area I fell before, otherwise you endlessly get stuck. It's a bitsy killing things. This is gonna hurt. I'm trying to be careful here, because I know if I pick up that red armor, something bad's gonna happen. Like this trap door's gonna open or something. But not. Okay, no traps here. I support that. I support this lack of traps and me having red armor. Okay, let's quickly move back, kill this death knight. Oh god, another death knight! This ain't good, there's more boys and death knights where I came from. Okay, can we get a little bit of a breather? Take five. Okay, looks like this boy is stuck in right here. Okay, that's most of the enemies in the map. And it looks like we actually got some help too. So, it looks like we're in the situation whereby I like to be. I like the situation. Now let's just hopefully not face off against a bunch of shamblers. Why do I get the feeling that's what exactly I'm going to be facing? Like three shamblers or so? Well, into the elevator. There's nothing else for me to do. Big red death thing. Some sentry turrets. Okay, nothing trying to kill me at this exact second. That's good. Where... Why does this feel like this is going to be some big boss fight or something? Oh, God! Just three fiends? Where's the, where's the shim when you need one? Well, that's everything. Yeah. Okay, that ended up being a lot easier than I thought it would be. I, I was expecting shamblers. In fact, there wasn't a single shambler in any of these maps. Weird. But okay, you drop down here and here's the exit. Goodbye, traveler. Just like um, Initial Horror, I believe you said the same thing. And there we are. We make it through this, kill a bunch of enemies, and we make it to introduction. So, as you see... The third part wasn't too, too bad. Um, it seemed like the first half of the level was a bit rougher because we didn't really have the ammo resources that we were expected to have. Um, but at the same time, really, it was more of a matter of we just needed health and we weren't really getting any health. So, yeah, it was mostly a matter of trying to manage ourselves through that whole situation and get more resources. But even with all that being the case, as you see, it's only taking like 20 minutes to do the entire level. Definitely rather good for what is the final level of an episode. Um, I expect it a lot harder. Um, that area with the Death Knights and Vores was relatively easy, mainly because of either A, the infighting, or 2, the fact that we had the rocket launcher, which allowed us to easily dominate the map. Um, and even if we didn't have the rocket launcher, it still felt rather easy because, you know, there wasn't any shamblers or anything. Which felt very weird. I did not expect the lack of shamblers. I was expecting more by the end. Um, a three fiend boss fight felt rather anticlimactic, I guess you could say. After all that we faced off against, I, I 
didn't really see Three Fiends as being that hard. Three Fiends is something we faced off a lot in the original one. I was a bit reckless with the rocket launcher. Um, I was just trying to get through it. But at the same time, as you see, I really didn't have any problems. I had red armor. I was able to really dominate everything. And so it really at that point wasn't anything I really cared too much about. Um, I, I was expecting a lot more for the end of this particular thing. I felt like... Um, initial horror, I felt like, had a better ending battle. Uh, honestly, um, the first part of this whole series, um, the first Electric Sheep felt a lot harder than this one did. Um, this one felt a bit underwhelming as well, in a different way than the last one was. This one had more exploration, um, and it looked relatively decent. It just, at the same time, wasn't that hard, I felt. I, I felt like... The tr the, there were traps, but the traps weren't that unfair or that lethal. Um, there wasn't anything really that powerful or really cruel to hit you with, like a shambler. Um, I feel like, yeah, the, the final area should have been you walked up on that platform and all of a sudden, like, three shamblers appeared in, like, opposite corners. And you're stuck in this area with no health and no resources just facing off against three shamblers. But, of course, that's me. <laughs> and I'm insane. So, yeah, needless to say, this ended up not being that difficult or that arduous of a task. Um, I guess I should ramble about Electric Sheep as a whole. Um, Electric Sheep, yeah, it, it's advertised as a big fancy cyberpunk thing, but honestly, it felt more like just a normal id base -y type thing with a couple extra little textures. It really did not stand out. It didn't really feel like its own... Um, if you will, a unique thing, like I would imagine a real a cyberpunk thing. Like when I think cyberpunk, I think like giant neon signs and lots of weird stuff like that. Like maybe like Ourobrush characters, like in Star Wars or something like that. Um, but yeah, this felt kind of static. It felt kind of just there. So needless to say, I really did not really care too much about the theme itself. Um, it was interesting to see some little electronics and stuff like that. Going going on but at the same time we did have that issue again stuck right in the third floor it's easy to get stuck there if you notice um other than that it felt like a lot of just kind of relatively simple rooms it still didn't feel like something that really stood out in terms of like areas a lot of the machines really didn't communicate what their purpose was or what they really did and yeah overall i feel like it didn't really have that much that was really that fancy. At the same time, it didn't really have that much that was really that challenging here. Like I said, the first part set up something that felt like it was going to be a lot more challenging than what this ended up being. Um, especially since we were given more resources in the previous level. And this could have been prepared for something that was a bit harder than this. I should have been really challenged with this one because I was coming into it as a shotgun start. So, why did it end up being so easy? I mean, it did give me a generous amount of, like, armor and ammo at the very beginning. But even then, like I said, I, w I did not have a super nail gun. I did not have other resources I was expecting to have. I was expecting to have, like, better armor coming into this, I believe. I believe I was, like, given a red armor in the previous one. Um, but needless to say, it, it just ended up not being that rough. And needless to say, I also felt like it ended up being kind of anticlimactic, therefore. Um, I, I feel like it had a better build-up than where it went. And, yeah, I honestly, I feel like no room was as interesting as that starting room of Electric Sheep 1 with the dumpsters, the trash cans. That probably was the best-looking area in this entire thing. Uh, mainly because it made itself have that interesting little beginning, that little um, lead-in. And then it felt like it kind of just went to a bunch of generic id basey type stuff with a bunch of different textures. So needless to say, I, I don't really feel like this um, episode was really like the most standout thing out there. It definitely doesn't feel like um, a fan favorite for me. <laughs> um, I still feel like something like Hello was a lot harder than this entire series was. So, on the term of challenge, I don't feel like this is something they give you the ultimate in challenge. At the same time, its appearance wasn't something that really stood out either. I, I really don't feel like... I feel like we've seen stuff that had more landmarks or looked a lot better than, say, this one. I think, like, the presentation of something like Altar of Death was um, a lot more... Um, grandiose, if you will, with the episodes and the separation and all that. 
And at the same time, we also had stuff going on, like the capture the flag maps going on. A lot of them had some fanciness. So needless to say, I feel like, I don't know, this didn't really have much of a look going for it. It didn't have much of like a real challenge going for it. It just felt like some more levels. Um, this one in particular is inoffensive due to a lack of real secrets or anything. So I can't really complain about it there. I can't really complain about anything here. Um, it just was a level series. And I guess that's really the best way of putting it. Um, it's content that we can add to our little campaign it's content that we can check out and content that definitely belongs um and probably belongs in the third episode it definitely is a bit more challenging than what you'd see in the other ones um though i'm not really sure about this one in particular i feel like this one was a bit easier than the other two um there was no real onslaught of enemies like the second part and there was no real like evil bridge of death like the first part had but at the same time just for closure i guess we'll put them all together and chain it as like an, a little thing as part of the server um but yeah other than that really not something i really have too much opinion on it's not something I really could say is that grand, but also something that really had nothing glaringly wrong with it. Outside of the secrets being a little bit on the unfair side, it had some weird triggers there. Um, but in terms of general gameplay, I, I really don't see anything here or there that I would say about this one. It's just Quake levels. And I guess that's kind of a good thing. We get some more Quake content. We can't get enough of this. There's o there's only a so many Quake levels, especially in the 1996 period. I feel like as time went on, people started giving a bit more prioritization, I guess you could say, to the single-player campaign. But for the first few um, years, at least... I don't think there was much in the way of single player content. It seemed to have a massive multiplayer bias. Everyone wanted to do multiplayer. And so you're seeing a lot more, I guess you could say, focus on stuff like three wave capture, on um, Team Fortress. That was all the big stuff. Airquake, even. Airquake really didn't have any single player components. So you can really see all the big stuff for Quake was really made for multiplayer. It was not really made for single player. And so when we run across single player content, it is rather good, especially if it is something like this that's kind of generic. It just at the same time as said generic. So it's not something that really stands out or is something I can really praise or say, I really want to play this map 20 times over. Yeah, just kind of there. It, it's just another little map to add some extra little support to our server. And I guess more content is definitely better. That's really the whole idea of this whole thing is more is better than less at this time. It's just at this time, a lot of the content isn't really stand out either. So it's just all sort of there. Anyway, as said, there's really not much to say. It's sort of that middle ground meh content. Which is a bit sad, but at the same time, at least we got to appreciate what existed and at least get more content to play around with. As I said, it's very rare that we get to see single player levels as a general rule. And so a three level episode is definitely stand out. It's definitely something that I can appreciate and something that I am glad to include along with everything else. So while we didn't really get something that was as brutal or as hardcore or as real interesting as it might have led on in the first part. At least we got something, some extra little content, some extra little thing to mess with that will add a few more minutes of playtime to the server campaign and is something else that is definitely nice to check out and have. More levels. As I said, that is really the benefit here. More levels for Quake. Doesn't really matter how good or bad they are, they're just levels. So, yeah. You want to levels? Here's a level! You will eat it and you will like it! Anyway, thank you all for watching. I have no idea what I'm doing in my life or why I'm playing random pointless levels that don't seem to really add up to much. But that's just me. Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing in my life. I've been saying this before. I'm stuck in an endless deja vu cycle. And I shall see you all, well, next time.